Good morning everyone. This is another session on handwriting analysis and we will be discussing more points in this video. Right. Now first of all the the steady baseline is very important. So this is the baseline. Suppose you write like this and you can see in this first case, right? This is the first case and in this case uh, the the you know it, it is following a very ordered baseline. So it is on it is consistently written on the same line. So if you draw a straight line, it will be almost, it, if you draw a line, it will be almost straight. So this handwriting, the first sample has a, uh, has a more steady baseline and it can mean more stability and cautious nature in the person. Right. Whereas if the if, if the baseline is wavering, sometimes going up, sometimes coming down, it also means that the person is not kind of very stable. It can mean sometimes the person is more optimistic, sometimes pessimistic, because if your baseline starts going upwards, right? So if you start writing with a slant and it kind of goes upwards, it means that you are more positive or more optimistic. Whereas if it starts going down, it means a bit of pessimism. But if the combination is there, it, it uh, results into a more unsteady nature or a wavering nature like your handwriting. So a wavy baseline means a wavering nature, whereas a steady baseline makes you more steadyful and makes you more stable. Right. Now, uh, of course, if if the baseline is stable, it also means that you have clearer, clearer sense of objectives and you're likely to be more realistic, whereas a bit of a wavering can mean that the person is kind of feeling a bit insecure and can have self-doubt at times. Right. We'll uh, also understand another concept of handwriting analysis, which is the darkness and the lightness of handwriting. So if you're pressing your handwriting too much, right, and if you just turn around the page and you kind of can see the marking, can you see here? You can clearly, you can feel it, right? So when you can feel feel the handwriting on the back side of the page it means that you are really really writing it very hard and uh, kind of um, it can mean that the person has a lot of energy and the person likes a lot of adventure and changes so you know a dynamic environment is what is the person looking for and so if if the handwriting is very dark you can you can say that the person uh, has a lot of abundance of energy and likes variety whereas if if it is not very dark it is uh, it is slightly on the lighter side then you can say that the person has slightly less energy if it is very light again the energy goes down right now another important point is the size of the handwriting right so the height becomes very important and uh, at times if it is very you know the the height the width and the spacing of the handwriting in general decides whether the script or the or your handwriting is large medium or small so if the height is more you check the height right this suppose you take this as the base block and then you see it deviates this much here or it deviates this much here so uh, using that you comparatively say whether it is the height is more or less then you go for the width of the letter so this is the width of the letter right and the spacing between letters so if all these components are more if the height is more width is more and the spacing is more than the uh, handwriting is said to be having a large script if the script is large then the person is likely to be more extroverted personality will be slightly more on the confidence side will be more energetic whereas if it on if it is on the medium side if it is a medium script then it would mean that the person is more balanced more adaptable and more reliable if the script is on the smaller side on the smaller size then the person is likely to be on the and uh, will be analytical precise and will be more into investigation right so hopefully you understood another uh, uh, hopefully you understood more points about handwriting analysis uh, do start observing a lot of ha a lot of you know handwritings try to see how what all points are consistent and gradually you will start mastering the subject and we'll get more accurate results right thank you i'm shwetank into handwriting analysis do check my channel for more thank you take care bye bye